Okay, this is gonna be a tutorial on nesting symbols. The first thing I have is just my three symbols placed on the stage all on a separate layer. I have my light right there, and then I have them all in my library. I'm gonna double click on the light and create a new keyframe. And I'm going to change the light accordingly to make it appear as if it's flashing. Create a new keyframe, change the color. New keyframe. I'm going to do the circular gradient. Um, undo that. I'm going to select the, just the color. Change it to the circular gradient. And then create one more keyframe. Select the circle and make it black. So now when you play it, it appears like the light's flashing. So now I'm going to go to spec to scene one. And now you can see my symbol is changing light, or changing color, or appear like it's flashing. I'm going to double click in this tire symbol, but I don't need to do that because I'm going to nest the tire circle symbol into the car. And all you do is double click on the car symbol to get back into it. I'm creating a new layer called front tire and I'm going to drag my tire onto the stage above it and I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to call it rear tire so Next thing I want to do is I'm going to create a motion tween on my front tire. I'm going to rotate it. <coughs> I'm going to rotate it. You can slide it to how many times you want it to rotate or you can play with the degrees. But in this case, I just want to have it rotate one time. Now you can see it's actually spinning the wrong way as if so all you got to do is go to direction counterclockwise and now it's spinning the right way if I had the car moving from the right side to the left side it would appear like it's moving so I'm going to do the same thing rear tire library I'm going to drag my tire symbol into the car symbol and I'm going to do the same thing. Create motion tween. If it's not already a symbol, flash will pop up and tell you you must convert it to a symbol in order to do this. So you just click yes. Rotate one time counterclockwise. And now it looks like the wheels are spinning on the car. I'm going to create another layer. I'm going to call this light. And I'm going to grab the flashing light, which I did earlier. I'm going to drag it right on there. Use the arrow, arrow keys on the keyboard to adjust it into the right position. And now you can see that I have everything there in one symbol. So I can go ahead and delete the tire and the light. And I have it all nested within the car symbol, the police car symbol. So now you can see the lights are flashing and the tires are rotating. I'm gonna go out to 45 frames just to show you that it loops. And just go ahead and show you how this makes it a lot easier if you're gonna do something like this. Just go ahead and create a motion tween and drag it to the other side and now I've got my police car going from the right side of the screen to the left side rotating tires and a flashing light and that's what it looks like in the swift now you could also see what it looks like here And yeah, you got your rotating tires and it will loop continuously. 
unless you specify otherwise. <laughs>